Good day ladies and gents, uh, this is just a small introduction video of our, of our new product, the camping trailer that's on the market, it's called the Trail Seeker. Um, it's a trailer built by a company called Trail and Beyond. So uh, we want to show you a few things, how easy accessible everything in the trailer is, how easy the setup is, and uh, how convenient it is to go camping with a trailer like this. It will make your life real easy. Okay, you have just stopped from your trip, you can either stop next to the road, have a quick snack, or if you reach your destination, um, the trailer is parked, it's level, it took literally two minutes to set up the trailer and level it out. So the first thing that you want to do is after a, after a long trip, you would like to enjoy a, a cold beverage or, or a drink or something. So for that you just open the side door. And inside we have a, a 90 liter National Luna, it's a twin top fridge freezer. On this side is your kitchen side. Everything is convenient, easy accessible. All your glasses is, uh, is stored away in a, in a foam rubber type. So everything is, uh, is, is, is nicely protected. There's no risk of, of breaking glasses on the way. So it comes standard with um, Four beer glasses, four wine glasses, four goblets. You have a full set of um, of knives, and forks, bowls, and uh, mugs, so you can make yourself coffee. Um, so, James, come and enjoy yourself a, a nice cold drink. This is Jaku Kreer, he's one of the directors from uh, the company Trail and Beyond. I'm Frans Wurretoui, uh, another director, and this is Jaku Fosloer. So the company was um, founded by us June 2015. We started putting heads together and uh, started with the first concept drawings. So it's about six months later down the line that we took the design and manufactured this first drawing. And uh, when, uh, we are here to to impress the market and uh, we are very competitive priced in the market and all the information is available on our website so you can just have a look at www.trailandbeyond.co.za and uh, all our contact details is also on there and if you want to have a, a view at, uh, at your trailer you are more than welcome yeah, you can just give us a call and arrange it uh, we are based in Pretoria in Centurion and uh, cheers So it takes you about one minute to set up your kitchen. Huge storage space. They can, you can put tons of food in here, you can put in snacks, you can put in your sauces that you want to use for your breakfast, your cooking oil is in here. Um, we have additional spice rack to this on the side of the kitchen drawers. So here we've got a nice convenient spice rack, everything is very quickly accessible. The of the trailer is made out of 3mm aluminium and some of the smaller models are made out of 2mm aluminium. So the trailer are quite lightweight and the chassis is made out of 4mm mild steel. It's profiles that especially bend in design. Um, very strenuous uh, suspension that we have in. Very strong suspension that's in there. You have the option also of dual heavy duty shock absorbers that you can fit onto the suspension. Um, it's got a two and a half ton brake axle inside the trailer. Now we're quickly uh, going to show you how to set up our tent. Uh, the tent is manufactured by Tentco. Rear drawer system that we have installed here. It's a 1.2 meter wide drawer. And together with this trailer also you have two extra awnings. One awning that Velcro is in on top of this side of the trailer another awning on the other side of the trailer over your wash up and your electrical area of your trailer so we're not going to put the awnings up now so you get it so at the back of the trailer the trailer is fitted with a six millimeter integrated bumper 
it's a very strong, very sturdy uh, bumper. This also for, forms part of your, of your chassis of your trailer. Um, spare wheel options on the trailer. You have three positions for spare wheels or you can use all three positions if you want to use them. You've got one option underneath the trailer like a normal pickup, spare wheel that's over there. And then you have two swing doors on the side of the trailer also with two big spare wheels that we can have over here. This trailer was built for a customer. He needed the spare wheel at the bottom because if you put your awning up on this side, you open your wheels, it's a bit in the way if you want to move at the back of the vehicle. But for people that does overland tours, it's always nice if you can carry uh, extra extra wheels with you. The option that you have also with uh, the spare wheels is anything up to until a 32 inch wheel will still be able to fit on the trailer. So that's quite a big wheel. Yeah, we can even match the hubs for you if you have a, a, um, a five bolt PCD or a six bolt PCD on your on your vehicle that you, on your towing vehicle. We can match also the same rims on the trailer so that you can use between the vehicle and the trailer you can interchange your spare wheels access doors at the back of the trailer you've got two access doors where you can store beverages or snacks or whatever you need to do uh, a lot of people put their showering stuff at the back of the trailer it's nice accessible and the bottom two doors of the trailer is designed as a service hole for your batteries and your water tank if you need to do any changes, modifications, or service, or cleaning, you can access all your water tanks or your battery systems from the rear side of the trailer. Okay guys, breakfast is on the table. Everything is nice and clean. So uh, I will quickly show you the electrical system that we have installed in the trailer together with the water. We have got a 120 litre tank, uh, very low, just above the chassis, built into the trailer. So that is to keep your center of gravity uh, low in the trailer. So you have 120 litres of water in the trailer. You have place for two gas bottles and you have a 205 amp hour deep cycles battery that powers the whole trailer. In the trailer we have LED lightings on the outside of the trailer and inside the tent area so it's just the switch that you put on you have a sufficient lighting right around the trailer and um, we have got a battery monitor system when you fill up the tanks when the tanks is empty you need to fill it up in the front of the trailer you have a gardena a standard gardena fitting you can plug it in there and you, you fill up your tanks from there if you don't have access somewhere in the bush if you're traveling through Botswana there's a lake the tanks got an access hole on top that you can open manually with your hand and you can fill it from there with water. So let's move around and uh, let me show you the electrical systems. Okay, the geyser is also mounting on a rail system. So if you want to use the geyser, you just need to open the front door. You slide your geyser out. And uh, the moment you pull your trigger for your water to come out, it will automatically ignite. On the left hand side of the nose cone, Our electrical system is mounted here. It's a, a local manufacturing um, electrical unit, the HEDP unit. It's manufacturing also in Pretoria. Um, you have the option also for 150 watt inverter, uh, automatically connected, uh, integrated into the electrical system. So you can have two 20 volt plugs on the inside or USB charger, or if you want to charge a laptop or whatever you need to charge. So, but still just up until 150 watts. In the front of the trailer, you have your Guardina fitting with a ball valve, so you connect your hose pipe here, you open the ball valve, you open your tap and you fill up your water tanks. 
the water tanks got an uh, uh, overflow, so automatically when your tanks are filled, you will see water running out from underneath the trailer out of the overflows. You can just close the tap, disconnect and uh, close your ball well from the front. Uh, what I've explained earlier also is, if you need a second refrigerator, if you take a long overlanding trip, in the nose cone, currently, we have two big drawers installed in the nose cone. So the op one option is, is to have two drawer slides here that can take four ammo boxes, or you have one drawer slide at the bottom with another 90 litre National Luna. Uh, also, um, Waco will fit in here, uh, Snowmaster will fit in here, um, ARB, all the big camping refrigerators on the market, everything will fit into this compartment. On top of the nose cone, we have a, a, a big black wooden rack. So if you want to have a fire at night, there's enough space here to pack about nine bags of firewood on the nose cone. It's a very sturdy rack. Um, you will not bend it if you pack six to nine uh, packets of wood on it. This is also manufactured out of a 3mm aluminium. Um, like you see earlier, your table slides in underneath. And then also you have the additional awning that velcros on top of the trailer. So you will have another 1.5 meters with awnings closed right around the trailer if you want to put up your extra awnings. So this tent is mainly used for a rally tent. So if you take a tour, you sleep maybe one night over, the next morning you you continue your, um, your, order, your holiday, you only use a rally tent. If you set up camp for maybe two or three days, it's worthwhile putting on the extra awnings. Everything is under one roof, so you can still do your dishes. If it's hard rain, it will not bother you. Okay, let's move inside the tent and I can quickly show you how the, um, the sleeping quarters look like. So this is inside your tent. So you have also one big uh, access door here that can take four ammo crates. All this ammo crates is intended for clothing. It's very easy accessible. On top you have a queen size bed, double bed on top. Um, all your pillows, all the, all the extra blankets, you just leave it on top of a bed. The whole tent covers, closes on it and you put your, your cover on top of the tent. There's a lot of space still in the cover left, so there's ample place to store extra bedding on top of the bed. No need to put it away every time um, you have to pack up and go. On the right hand side you also here have uh, three access doors which contains one ammo crate per drawer. So there's a lot of space to store any clothing, warm jackets and things like that. Um, in the floor here there's place for, for two stretches. So, The only thing tonight when you want to go to bed, there's a small aluminium step ladder. If you just put up here, it's quite easy accessible. If you're on your bed, you've got a nice big window on the other side for some ventilation. It also has got a mosquito cover that you can close. There's no rain, all the doors has got the mosquito cover covers in front of it. Like I said, this is a tent um, standard manufactured from, uh, from Tentco. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, all our contact details is available on our website www.trailandbeyond.co.za We've got a few other products also that we sell. There's some um, small portable bryes and a steel bryes that we have. There's also a series of LED lighting that we do. And uh, we are also into some refrigeration. So we are Waco agents. So if you want a Waco fridge, please give us a call. We can definitely give you a very good and competitive price. So thanks again, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please contact us. Thank you.